Hello friends! Sean Strickland doesn't have many losses in his career, but these were actually interesting fights. And now we'll remember all the defeats of Tarzan. No! Strickland was undefeated with 15-0 winning streak before he faced Santiago Panzinibio in a welterweight bout on February 2015 at UFC Fight Night 61. The first time Sean Strickland lost in this back and forth fight via unanimous decision. Oh! Oh! Out of the nose of Sean Strickland, he needs a big one hand there! An important takedown, Ponzinibbio though, right back. Right down, right down. Oh! Big right hand from Ponzinibbio! Ponzinibbio was very motivated to come in here. After the next three victories battles, Tarzan faced Kamaru Usman on April 2017 at UFC 210. The Nigerian Nightmare brutally dominated the fight and won by a unanimous decision. A finish though would certainly be... By unanimous decision, the Nigerian nightmare, Usman! Sean faced Eliseo Zaleski dos Santos on May 2018 at UFC 224 and lost the fight via knockout in the first round. Cover here! So a flashy kick from Dos Santos, Eliseo Zaleski! Bang! Right over the ear! Great stuff by Dos Santos, not just a great shot, but great finish. Look at this shot over the top with the right leg. Strickland returned to middleweight and faced Alex Pereira at UFC 276 on July 2022. He lost the fight via knockout, also in the first round. That's why! Oh my God. That's why. Done it again. That's why! Look at the beauty in this hook. I mean, it's perfect. That's perfect. And then look at the follow-up. Oh the my goodness. Oh, and no. then just torques that right on the chin. Guys, bring that back one more time. Watch Pajeda when he circles. Watch how Pajeda just sets his level. Sean Strickland faced Jared Cannonier at UFC Fight Night 216 on December 2022. Touch gloves, let's do it. Strickland lost the fight via split decision. It was actually a very close fight. I don't even know who I'd give the victory to. Write your opinion below the video. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh, there it is, Dom, that hook. Whoa. Now a big left. Getting aggressive. Um, excuse me, when you go conventional, the right. Ooh. Nice. Cannoneer's going to have to eat it. Oh. Oh, some counter shots from Strickland. Yeah, both guys. And they're just going to throw to the horn. Strickland now firing some kicks. And we go 25 minutes between top 10 middleweights. Landed over and over off his left hook. Left hook, right hand. This right hand all night. Strickland was the main weapon. That's why his nose got bloody. But the one, two, that one that you just saw right there. That was Strickland's move. By split decision, Jared, the killer gorilla, Cannoneer! Strickland had his first title defense against Dricus Duplessis on January 2024 at UFC 297. The pair were in attendance at UFC 296 on December 2023. While exchanging words, Strickland gestured for LDN's members to move and attack Duplessis. The brawl was quickly broken up and Strickland was escorted out of the event. Strickland lost the fight against Dricus Duplessis via split decision. The decision was not without controversy as Dana White and Joe Rogan felt that Duplessis didn't do enough to take the belt. Too closer. You heard Eric Nixick say, I don't like that round. Yeah. He did not like round three from Sean Strickland. He... And that is 
what they got. A standing ovation in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Low Light TV was with you. Subscribe, comment, like for more. You know. See you soon.